What's up, YouTube? Big Dog here, back again for yet another edition of Big Dog Movie Reviews. The best movie review channel out there, obviously. So today, it's one for the kitties, once again. I don't even know how I ended up seeing this movie, it just kinda happened. But, Play Mobile the movie. Yeah, now I watched it. Sure did. So did me and a lot of my other grown men friends. Oh boy, yeah, we got stuff. We watched it. Don't ask why. I don't need the marker yet. I don't know what I'm doing. So that's the same format as always: likes, dislikes, and the final score, final comments. Miranda's going to be overseeing the whole thing in the back there. And do be forewarned: there are spoilers in this review. But that being said, let's get into it. Uh, likes. Uh, Rex Dasher was a character in the film. I thought he was pretty funny. He was like some spy guy, like almost like a James Bond-esque kid spy type character. I thought he was pretty entertaining. Well, that's it for the likes. So yeah, you can already see where the score is going on this one. Dislikes time. Uh, the real life tie-in was really dumb and there was no need for it whatsoever. Uh, I think this film could have benefited greatly by taking place entirely in like the Playmobil universe. They could have just had like its own little storyline within this universe, but that didn't happen. Uh, it was like this girl and her brother got transported into the Playmobil, Playmobil universe. And they longed, and they, so okay, here's the whole freaking story, essentially. They get sent into the Playmobil universe and then the whole storyline is them, they get separated one, very quickly after being in there. And then they get, and so the whole movie is them trying to reunite and try and figure out how to get back to the real world. No need for that. They could have just created a Playmobil universe and have its own storyline take place in that universe. Don't see why they had to have a real life tie-in. And not to mention, moving on to the second point, a big part of the real life tie-in, pretty freaking dark for a kid's movie. These kids are like singing around, dancing, having a great time in their house. Then police, then I, I shit you not, police knock on their door in like the mid song and tell them their parents died in a car crash. Like what the fuck? Like, come on now. Um, that's way too dark for a kid's movie, I feel like. Not to mention, they kept referencing it. Like part in the film, the freaking little brother, like the older, that's a little brother and an older sister. Well, the sister's probably like, I don't know, at this point, when the majority of the film takes place, like, low 20s, and the brother's, like, 5th, 6th grade, I'd say, maybe a little lower. Uh, and he's just like, he's like, you you died along with mom and dad and stuff, and I'm just like, jeez, like, come on now, this is a kid's movie. Uh, and like I said, they were dancing around on the table, for part of it, singing a song, which, of course, alludes to this being a musical film, which it was. And now all the fans of this channel know that I hate musicals. There's no need for, especially in this film in particular. Like, Rocket Man, I saw a while back. Sure, like, again, I mean, there will be no need for a musical pretty much in my eyes. Even Frozen 2, I feel like, could benefit from not being a musical, despite the songs being. So, and Frozen 1. I adore Frozen 1, it's one of the few musicals that I enjoy, but as always, I feel like the movie could be better if it wasn't a musical. But this one in particular, there is really no need for it to be a musical. Sure, like with Rocket Man, Elton John was a musician, his life was heavily influenced by music. So, okay, I can kind of see it there. But freaking Playmobil, whatever the hell this, these toys are called, come on now. Like, no. No, 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 no. No musical here. Um, Porsche was very obviously, they worked out a deal with whoever made this movie, I don't even know who, and to f put product placement in there, and it was blatantly obvious and very distracting, and I did not like it at all. There could be product placements that are subtle, I mean, I would still notice them, but they would be subtle, and... I would just be like, okay, whatever. This one is, like, they're blatantly obvious, and I felt that they could have done a way better job of having the product placement be a little more subtle and not as right smack dab in your face because it was just super obvious and kind of took away from the film in my eyes. Um, 
Uh, the kid in the beginning. So when they transport into the Playmobil universe, the little brother turns out to be like the super strong barbarian looking guy. And he's just throwing, like, they immediately wind up in a fight, like, in a fight against, like, some, like, Viking groups. And he's in there, like, literally just whipping and wailing and throwing these, uh, and he's, like, literally, like, a hundred feet away. He just grabs them and yeets them across the, across the world. So it's obvious this kid has immense strength at this point in time. But yet, the right after that scene... There are several scenes where he, this kid could have very easily used his strength to make his life a little easier because he gets captured, and he doesn't. He gets caged up, doesn't even try to break the cage he's in. Like, if you're throwing someone who's probably similar body mass to you hundreds and hundreds of feet away from you, I feel like you could probably break a wooden cage pretty easily. And then, like, he, he's, like, he literally took on this entire, like, herd of a hundred Vikings and was just, like I said, just kind of making a fool out of them because he's so strong. But then later in the film, when he gets in a fight again, three guys jump on him, down for, down for the count. Like, come on now. What the, what? This is just, it's like the movie is going back on itself. It's breaking its own rules that it set in place and it's ridiculous. So, yeah. Like, come on now. This kid obviously... I know if I was that world, I'd be like, wait a minute, I'm probably the strongest person to ever walk these grounds. I could probably destroy this wooden cage I'm in because I threw someone who weighs the same amount as me out of sight. Like, just, yo, he's gone. Like, come on, use your strength here, kid. Or use your head, at least. Think a little bit. Um, and the story and movie as a whole was incredibly boring. The middle part... Like, the middle third, I guess, was the most entertaining. But even still, I would say it was slightly entertaining at best. It was, I was getting, as always, I'm, with boring films, I was getting a little tired through it. Uh, so that just shows how entertaining it was. Super boring, almost falling asleep. And, like I said, the middle was the best part. And that was slightly entertaining at its finest. And the last dislike here is that it breaks my cardinal rule for kids' films, which that, of course, is... It's got to be entertaining, not only for the kids, but for the adults that bring them there. This was not. There was... I was watching this with nothing but adults, and no one in this theater was entertained in the slightest. And so kids might like it, but parents won't. And like I said, that's my kind of my cardinal rule with kids' movies. And it just wasn't entertaining for adults. And it won't be. Unless you're delusional. But that's... Those are the likes and the dislikes. So yeah, definitely... Definitely not a good movie. Play Mobile, the movie. Two out of ten. Uh, it's kind of ironic. The night before I watched this, I watched Dark Waters. Which, if you've seen that video, which I hope you have. Because it'll probably get posted for this one. Uh, it'll, like, it was probably, like I said, it was one of the best movies of the year for me, and I think this, and then the night after I watched that, I watched this, which was probably one of the worst movies of the year for me, so, yeah, it was, it was horrible from pretty much every way, shape, and form, uh, the off-brand Lego, it's, like, very obviously an off-brand Lego movie, and they're, this Play Mobile is trying to cash in on the same audience as people who would see the Lego movies, so it's just very, it's very obvious just a cash grab and nothing more. Uh, and I wouldn't wish this garbage onto my children. I wouldn't, if they wanted to see this, I don't know. I would just be like, yeah, kids, trust me, it's bad. And I wouldn't wish anyone's kids see this. So play mobile the movie. Two out of ten. Pile of garbage. Uh, but that's all I got. That's a review. It's going in the book with the others. Shoot the video a like if you liked it, which I hope you did. Comment on it. Let me know your thoughts. If you thought it was even worse than a 2 out of 10. If you thought it was better, which could... Mm, we'll see about that one. Let me know why. If you thought I was pretty on the mark, let me know if you agree with me. I welcome all challengers to change my mind, and good luck changing my mind on this one. 
Uh, and as always, subscribe to the channel. I do movie reviews pretty frequently. Uh, just, I think any movie fan at all would enjoy this film. Would enjoy this channel, not film. No, they would not enjoy this film. But they would enjoy enjoy this channel because it's just uh, about movies. I movies heavily influence my life and pretty big part of it. So I think I, and I'm just kind of spreading my passion to the world through YouTube. So do subscribe to this channel to get more movie reviews. Uh, and as always, if you're looking to get a little more involved with the channel, do follow the corresponding Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd accounts. Uh, and Letterboxd is like a fa it's like kind of like another movie review app, but it's a little more social, and like you can follow your friends, see what they think of it. And they have their own rating system, which I just kind of multiply by two on here. It's out of five, which you include, which includes point five, so it easily translates to an out of a ten system on thus making it my YouTube channel and 10 out of 10 system. Uh, but the username, long story short, the username for all those is at BigDogMR79. I'll post it on the screen as always at the end of the video. That's all I got for today. I will see you guys at the next movie review. And as always, until then, change the world. See you later.